Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is a general love reading for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, for the energies of the first week of March 2020. Allow me to take just a few moments to thank those who have subscribed to the channel, and in particular the very first of them, Phoenix Kia. If you are watching, thank you for your kindness. Guys, go check Phoenix channel, it's linked in the description below and every information about this reading is also in the box below if you resonate with the messages leave a comment like share and subscribe we do appreciate the support if you don't resonate with the messages they are not for you and it's okay these are general reading we uploaded the march 2020 readings for each sign Go check them out, maybe there is a message for you there. And now let's pull an oracle card to see the main theme of this reading for you, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. First week of March 2020. Here we go. What do you need to release? What do you need to release their sign? Release <laughs> is a key aspect of our journey, but it's not always easy to do so. But sometimes it is required in order in order for the things to move forward. Let's see what the tarot has to say for you, Earth Signs. Messages for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. First week, March 2010. What do you need to release? Seven of Cups, the Moon card, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Star card, the Chariot, Knight of, Cup, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, beautiful, and Eight of Wands. So, Earth Signs, I will guide you through the spread. The first row to me is the person that you are dealing with and their energies. I feel that is about a process, a discovering process. It's like they, they face some kind of confusion because something is not clear to them because it requires to go deep on a deeper level of understanding and comprehension i feel that these two cards are are tight and linked together but the price for them is the queen of pentacles as a way of approach energies and things if they are able to make up their mind in front of all these cups with all sorts of things inside of them they they will have to go deep in order to find the answer that they are seeking to move through these clouds the moon, of course, it is something that it is something that is not yet clear because it requires a deeper level of understanding. But I feel that if they go through it, they will learn how to approach energies and things like a Queen of Pentacles, someone that. Uh, she knows how to provide for herself she knows how to be loving and caring towards others she has an inner balance that 
she has gained through the experiences she learned along along the way along the journey so i feel that this is uh, an important process but we are going to uh, clarify the second row uh, earth signs is you watching to me because the fifth card is the heart of the reading which is uh, you watching because you have the possibility and the chance to navigate within all the energies around basically uh, according to the situations that um, you live for you i feel that this three of swords is linked to the what do you need to release oracle card but I like that you are positioned with the star card at the heart of the reading. It's like a past disappointment and heartbreak will be healed thanks to the caring and loving energy of the star card. Of course, this is a wish fulfillment. It's like if you are able to release the past struggles and heartbreaks that you may have encountered along your journey, you will make space for the star card energy, the wish fulfillment. And when you do, when you do that, the chariot will take off and move things forward towards success. Some of you, of course, because we have the chariot uh, travel may be involved depending on the situation. Remember that these are general readings, so the roles may be in reverse if you fail to allow the energies to go that way. If not, keep the uh, general direction of the spread. Then the meeting energies are full of love to me because we have the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Basically, I feel that the one, if you are the one that has gone through the struggles of the heartbreaks, you will gain your healing and you will experience again a meaningful and deep connection driven by by heart by the heart same for the person that you are dealing with after they have dealt with the indecision in some sense with the i can make my mind clear process they have gone through the moon card energy and they have learned how to be how to channel the queen of pentacles energy then this meeting of energies of the both of you basically will talk communication will matter in a very deep and meaningful way about the heart about what you some of you or the both of you can offer to the other person which is something heart driven feelings emotion this knight has learned how to manage his, uh, his emotions in a mature way. He is on the, on the way to become a king, of course. This beautiful two of cups is, this is a deeper connection, someone that can bring light towards the both of you and then communication will come about it i will i will clarify a couple of cards for you earth signs so that we can give a little more depth to the first part of this reading in your person in your person's energy i will clarify the moon card because i feel that the seven of cups can be some sort of indecision but 
the the key point is hidden in the moon energy so i'm going to ask for clarification about it please we have one the strength card but i will pull another it is a confirmation to me because we have the knight of cups that we have seen here in the meeting of the energies the cards the card that fell off the shuffle the strength card the the power the courage to overcome uh, a difficult uh, situation a struggle to me this can be a struggle uh, of the mind seven of cups the moon card this person with who sits in, in this energy has the chance to overcome this challenge basically and to get in touch with their own emotions and feelings as i was saying before i will not uh, repeat myself about the knight of cups but i feel that this is um, this is important and of course it can be linked to the uh, to the approach of the queen of pentacles she is fully capable to uh, be loving towards others so i feel that the moon card um, it's the it's the test for this person they they have the possibility and the ability to overcome to pass this test and to move forward following their heart in a loving way the queen of pentacles in your row of energies well we have one i was going to clarify the three of swords i will keep that card that fell off and then i will pull another well it seems fair two cards for your purse seven of cups and two for you in the past basically I feel that this is a past energy the three of swords because things will move forward uh, thanks to the chariot so i'm leaning towards uh, that um, storyline basically uh, the seven of cups we have seen it before i'm leaning towards confusion or more things involved something didn't go as quite as you wanted because this man is refusing this cup because uh, it's not it's not what he wants so he's focusing on other thing on other things and to me basically it's like can you see the the um, for the man of the four of cups it, is looking towards these three cups but it's like it's looking to all these cups you see that this man i feel that it's like the same energy and so he he is not getting what he really wants this can can bring this three of swords energy to kick in and so disappointment and heartbreak that will require healing and inner healing first of all like the way you approach things and then things will move forward and you will find basically uh, with your um, part of energies you will find something uh, deeper and meaningful in the meeting energy i will clarify sorry for the noise in the background if you can see them if you can hear them i will clarify the eight of ones communication meaningful communication i feel that uh, travel can be involved in this case the sun card amazing guys amazing communication regarding happiness 
this is the happiest card in the deck of course this is um, happiness regarding matters of the of the heart and soul i feel because the two of cups it is after all um, a soulful connection something that can nurture our souls in a in a way that we can learn and grow so communication about happiness about what we what we desire what what can make us ha happy and this is uh, auspicious because i'm looking uh, the vertical uh, combination the queen of pentacles she knows how to manage um, her loving energies the chariot will move forward toward toward happiness towards happiness thanks to communication that will matter about it i also like the the other vertical combination because the moon card will be cleared with the strength card and the knight of cups and then healing will take place with the star card leading to a two of cups uh, connection and the confusion of the seven of cups seven of cups and the stubbornness of the four of cups that cause may maybe uh, some struggles or outbreaks will be men will will encounter the mending of the knight of cups so guys i reversed also the the combination i i like them anyway because i feel that the message is uh, is recurrent here so earth signs this was your reading i i hope that you enjoyed it and uh, if you resonate uh, leave a comment like share and subscribe i will take this to an extended uh, i'm curious about it if uh, if you want feel free to join me the link is below and if we part ways i hope that this reading was helpful at least to some of you and until next time i wish you all the best take very good care of you bye